Well, I'm going to give you a crash course on how to set it all up for you. And it's very simple. It seems confusing. Just follow along with me. First things first, you do have to download the Atom Vertical plugin for your OBS, which the link will be down in the description below. It's as simple as clicking the link, downloading the software, and installing it on your OBS, which will give you a separate panel in a vertical format, which is a great plugin that I use myself to capture clips for replay buffer in vertical format already. Now, also, not only is this used for clipping, you can use it for recording and you can use it for live streaming. Once you download it and you install it into your OBS, you see that it has a little cogwheel to go into settings and there you can set up a stream key. Once you set up your stream key there, you'll be able to go live specifically in that vertical format. Now you do got to keep in mind, you can't use the same stream key that you use for your regular streams on YouTube. For example, when you open up your YouTube dashboard under stream settings, you see that it says stream key. It says it's either going to say default stream key. If you haven't made one personally for regular formats, or it'll be named. If you do, if you click the drop down arrow, you'll see the options to create a new stream key or manage your current stream keys. You're going to want to click on create a new stream key. You know, you can name it something like vertical shorts or vertical streaming, put a description there if you want, set it up as RTMP and you can do manual settings. I leave that as it is for now. Once you set that all up, it'll generate a new stream key for you. In the dashboard, when you use that drop down and switch over to the new vertical short stream key that you created, you're going to want to copy that new stream key. Once you copy it, head on back to your OBS and in the section for the vertical plugin, you're going to hit the cog wheel. Once you hit that cog wheel, that's where you're going to go down to the streaming tab. You're going to name the output one or whatever you want to name it. The server is going to be the stream URL, which you're going to get on your YouTube dashboard. And that stream key that you copied from your dashboard, you want to paste it here. You don't have to show it. We're not going to show it here. You can mess around with your video bit rate, depending on your internet and your bandwidth, uh, depending on what it is, just match up to your speeds. As for advanced, I use main OBS settings. So it copies all my settings from my regular format streams. Once you do that, you hit okay and you're good to go. It's set up now. Now here is where the confusing part gets to going live on both at the same time. The way I do it personally myself is I open up my dashboard as my default stream key. I set it all up. I put the title in the game that I'm playing and I'll leave it there. Then what I do is I open up a separate window of the YouTube dashboard. And this time we're going to go to manage and we're actually going to create a scheduled stream on that scheduled stream. You choose your settings. You put your descriptions, your titles, what game you're playing, your thumbnail. If you want to put it in there, you hit next It's going to say customization for live chat, live chat replay the participants that are available, live reactions. When you click next again, it's going to show you visibility. You can do private, unlisted, members only, or public. Now, what I do is I set up as public, so that way when it goes live, anyone can see it popping up on their shorts format. Now, the schedule time, I always put it about 15 to 20 minutes after I start my regular stream. I've tried starting both at the same time and it did not work. The only way I can get it to work is by starting one stream and then beginning the scheduled stream. Once you have that all set up, go back to your dashboard where you go live. And whenever you're ready to go live, you hit start streaming on the OBS controls for the regular format. Once that stream starts, you're going to head on over back to the tab with the schedule stream for the vertical format. And you're in that tab. You're going to hit go live on the vertical plugin on OBS. Once that go live goes through, you'll see that the go live button on the top right of the dashboard is going to go blue, allowing you to click. Once you hit that go live button, both streams are going to be active at the same time. Now do keep in mind that YouTube does not mix the chats. You will have a separate dashboard chat for vertical form and you will have a separate YouTube chat for regular long form. Once you get your two stream keys up, you set one stream key up for OBS regular one for the Atom plugin. Once you start your regular stream, you start your scheduled stream for the vertical plugin. You hit go live and both of them will be live at the same time. They will create two different live streams that are going to be archived in your channel. Keep in mind that as long as they're public, the hours will count for public watch hours. If you happen to unlist or privatize them, the hours will not count. If you have any questions about this tutorial, feel free to comment down below. I'm usually very active. I respond to most comments. And if this was helpful to you, consider subscribing. I really appreciate it much and I'll catch you next time. Peace out everyone.